is the Glass Cannon Network. Mamma mia! Here's of the Haunted City! Italiano! Okay, Sicily! Pizza! <clears throat> spaghetti! Uh, folks at home, I cannot I cannot express like <laughs> the 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 technicalities of recording are that we we sit in 10 seconds of silence before we start just to make sure that the audio is as crisp and clear as our fans demand and out of that void of sound and where we're all just kind of awkwardly staring at each other um jared always comes through with just goes zero to 500 <laughs> And it's me, Mario. Sometimes, it's... sometimes he goes full Mario. That's right, baby. Mamma mia, Paisan. Wow, well, no. yeah, never so, disappoints. Yep, yeah, never disappoints. Today's haunted city is going to feature yeah. a lot of jumping from block to block. <laughs> Man. Last time it involved lots of dodging fireballs, so you know. Yeah, that's true. It is like Mario Brothers up in this bitch. We did get a bunch of coins. <laughs> You did yes. get a bunch of coins. That's something for Mario. Oh, that by was the way, very we, generous of you. Well, I'm a nice guy, and I'm always like a kind of a softy GM. We're playing Blades in the Dark by John Harper and Evil Hat. It's a really great game. If you've watched this much of the show, you probably are, own your own copy. But um, just want to mention it every time. I'm Jared Logan. Josephine McAdam, Ross Bryant, and Abu Salim are with me. What's up, guys? You like Mario? <laughs> I love Mario. I never saw the film though. Was the film good? Do you mean the most recent one or the one yeah, from the nineties with John Leguizamo and yeah, Bob Hoskins? That, that, let's get real. That was the one of the greatest films of all time. Okay. The recent one. <laughs> I, 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 my daughter who's four had the Mario Brothers movie on yesterday, but I didn't get to pay close attention because I was cooking and doing other things. So. You're being a dad. Um, so. I was being a dad, but I think that, you know, people seem to have really liked it. I mean, it made a lot of money. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I if didn't something see it the last... makes a lot of money, it must be good. Yeah. That's the rubric <laughs> by which to judge any art. Um, yeah. Uh, the last Mario game media, anything that I interacted with was Super Mario Sunshine. Wow. I, I played Cube. Sunshine. I played Sunshine on the GameCube. Yeah. 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 People, I really I think, like that. I think the consensus was that people thought that was a lesser entry in the franchise. Okay. Yeah, no one, no one really liked it, but I thought it was I really good. I liked it. Like Luigi's Mansion. Mm. Mario I Sunshine, I, I oh. loved the, the spraying water mechanic and how it was like you could use it as a rocket pack and you sprayed things clean. Yeah, it was, it but, was a cool mechanic. But then there were these little mini levels where you had to like... They, they were really hard that existed in like this other universe where you were running along blocks with like a different POV. And um, those made me curse and throw my controller. <laughs> this is why I, I don't own like a video game, game system anymore. I don't own a video game system <laughs> anymore because of my inability to control my anger. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just remember like I haven't played a Mario game in so, so long. But I remember, like, this is years ago. Like, when the Wii was still pretty new, there was this mm. game that was like a, it was like a Wario-related game. But the whole deal of it was it was, like, actually, <clears throat> like, a hundred <laughs> tiny little crazy kooky little games. Okay. So, <laughs> so, like, it would be your controller. Is it Mario Party? N no, it was Wario-specific. Yeah. Oh. So, it would be, like... But not everything like even involved Wario, so it would be like the, the, <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd learn the game and play it in thirty in thirty seconds. So it'd be like it would just like show up and it would be a banana covered with ants, and, you, and it would just say shake, and you just had to shake the controller until all the ants were gone. It was like yeah. you win, and then it would be like pour, and you just have like a glass of beer or something, and you'd have to like pour it or drink it or 
It was just all these little and, like and little kids were like, I like pouring beer. Physical challenges. Yeah. <laughs> it was just so surreal and bonkers and frenetic. I was like, whoa, I've never seen something like this. I genuinely think the Wii console was fantastic. I don't know what I don't know if it I don't think it sold that well, but I remember as a kid I always wanted a Wii. Always wanted a Wii. And my parents never got it because they never loved me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think we had one either we was the one that was like hey you can work out with this hey parents and kids yes can play, it was can play yeah. tennis with this this is a, a real family entertainment system here it's not just something to you know for kids to play but yeah i mean i'll be honest i was always more drawn to consoles who were like this is our role-playing game that takes 47 hours to play and <laughs> yeah. it's about in a post-apocalyptic world with you know like that's kind of more my speed so i was always more into like xbox and playstation stuff mm. i think like consoles went through a phase of wanting to be like fitness and then they just yeah didn't <laughs> it's like they yeah. had the whole connect and all the kind of points of movement and stuff and then they realized actually Let's just make Halo Infinite where you can sit down and shadow people online and shoot people. And now the and now the switch is like, hey, you can take your video games outside, and everybody's like, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's great. The switch I still like has inside. like some of the fitness stuff too, though. No, but they, I don't think it does anymore. Not really. Yeah, they got like the Ring Fit. Yeah, but like I think that's for the. Is that for this? I don't think that's for the Switch. I think that's still for the Wii, right? It's for the Switch. That's so weird. You know what? I just, yeah, Abu, because I just got back from my friend's house where I played um, pole dancing instructor on the Switch, (laughs) where you learn to do a pole dance. Pole dancing instructor, it it teaches you how to do a pole dance. Okay. That's, um. The thing that sucks is, the thing that sucks is you have to buy the pole separately. So Mm -hmm. there's this Nintendo pole. Have you seen it? <laughs> Man, I love the Nintendo Pole. It's very, <laughs> it's so interactive, and you can use it for other games. Oh yeah, yeah. Which one? Like, if you play Mario, like original, and you know that part where you jump onto the flag and you slide down the <laughs> pole. Yeah. yeah, Nintendo Pole is it will work with that. So yeah. Countless easy. You should definitely be the spokesperson for Nintendo. I'll I'll tell them that. They need you in R and D immediately. Yeah. Like like prompt like shop. You guys, what if we created a poll? <laughs> yeah, I can see it. They would love me. This is anyway, this is first. all you need to know about the the Mario Brothers movie is that at one point Donkey Kong says, it's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, oh nice. wow! Nice. Oh, that's that's good. Th- I mean, that's, that's amazing. That's what you want to hear. They I used the punch-up lines I sent them. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say it's on like me. <laughs> he says it's on like it's on like me. Is that better or worse than it's on I, like? Donkey I don't know. Kong? I don't know. Well, look. Because actually, if you, you think know, about it, it's like, what does that actually mean? It's on. Like Donkey Kong, like what does that actually mean? You know, if, if someone threatened that to me or shout that in my face, I'm like, what does it mean? It's yeah. on, like Donkey Kong. Like, what is Donkey Kong <laughs> on? You know, it's like yeah. it's. I'm about to throw some barrels at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it doesn't though, does it? Because he's saying it's on, like, like. Yeah, Donkey, or maybe, like, what it's, is, maybe it's meta. Maybe it's on like when you turn your console on like Donkey Kong. Mm. Yeah, maybe what he's awake. It, what does it mean in training day when Denzel Washington says, King Kong ain't got nothing on me? What does that mean? But that um, but that that's you see that that is that that isn't as as oh. like deep as is on as Donkey Kong. Because <laughs> when he says King Kong hasn't got nothing on him, like he's saying King Kong. You know, he, he, like, King Kong is, you know, this big beast. He, he has nothing against, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. nothing on, you know, the, de- the, de- the detective. But when it says it's like, it's on like Donkey Kong, like, it's on, like, like on Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong on. What does that mean? What does this mean? Well, what when you say Donkey mean? Kong's level of self awareness. Exactly. Well, it's how so do- deep. <laughs> no, I think the- he knows he's a game. I think he knows he's a video game. 
Oh shit! So yeah. he's saying that he's saying that the machine, the the console, is on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Donkey Kong, you is nothing if not a <gasps> profound discourse on ontology. Like, on what level does can Donkey Kong oh, be truly man. said to exist? Yeah. Better question. Yeah, why is why is Donkey even in the name? I don't see why any sort donkey? of Donkey influence. <laughs> why he Donkey? It sounds it sounds frankly a little vulgar. Why he Donkey? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure to say why he Donkey though. Yeah. That's what oh, my shirts shit. are gonna say. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. it's a much better question. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like, you know, and th- these uh, these games were originally conceived and uh, in Japan, and then they were marketed to the United States, where sometimes there was a cultural and or language barrier. And I feel like Donkey Kong is maybe sort of an, an effect of that, where people were like, yeah, Donkey Kong, the U.S. people yeah. will get it. They'll like Are that. You- you're very correct. Uh, one second of Googling presents me with this. Miyamoto used donkey to convey stubborn in English, while Kong was simply to imply him being a large ape. The name Donkey Kong was intended to convey stubborn ape to American audiences. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I just, that's why he donkey. Damn, man. That's why he donkey. <laughs> Speaking of stubborn oh, apes, man. speaking of stubborn apes. But why is he Cranky Kong? <laughs> cranky Kong's another character in the Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Um, speaking of stubborn apes, a thousand years ago, this was a land of beauty and magic. Then came the cataclysm that blotted out the sun and ripped open the gates to the land of the dead. The city of Irondale is a colonial enclave surrounded by blasted deathlands inhabited by nomadic horse tribes. Outside the city is a wasteland of the ravening undead. Inside the city is a sweltering pressure cooker of conspiracy and oppression. Life is precious and a wilderness cloaked in shadows. The sun is gone. The only thing that shines in Irondale are the blades in the dark. The dark, dark, dark Welcome dark. back. A lot happened last episode. Woo! Did it ever. I'll do my best to do a recap. Our crew was in the midst of a score to capture a demon, turn it over to the Imperial military in exchange for a prisoner. If they did that, they would earn nine coin. They battled with a demon that they were familiar with, one that was bonded to Eric, the henchman Lieutenant of Lord Strangford, whom they made an enemy of before they left Duskfall. They managed to dispatch Eric and capture the demon, but not without some losses. They were horribly harmed in the process and very stressed. And they lost an ally, Gritchen the Whisper, who was helping them in this operation. Furious that so much life had been lost, Alden confronted the rest of his crew and said, no more bloodshed like this. We, we have to stop. You took your prisoner, the demon, in a demon holding bag to the Imperial barracks. But when you did so, you realized that Irondale was under attack. The nobles, presumably under the leadership of Lord Strangford, have brought Leviathan Hunter ships to Irondale and they are attacking Severos, probably to take it over. This meant that the Imperial Barracks was deserted and you were able to get inside with Lieutenant Sylvester and give him the demon. In exchange, he let loose the prisoner. But what you didn't realize about the prisoner, Park Wynn, was that he too was bonded with a demon. He too was a noble with a demon living inside of him and he released it. The demons, in cahoots with each other, almost devoured Valkos. They brought Juliet to her knees, and it was only Alden stepping forward to negotiate with them that secured your safe release. But they have given you a mandate. Break into Imperial headquarters on the coast where they are fighting the Leviathan hunters and remove the demonic wards there. Wards that prevent demons from attacking that encampment. 
we are now going to enter a downtime phase. As I mentioned last episode, normally downtime lasts days, maybe even weeks. In this particular case, I'm going to let the players take a downtime, but we are going to sort of fix the fiction so that we realize that it's happening in a matter of minutes or hours. So, let's begin with all the phases of downtime. First of all, the payout. You guys earned nine coin, you captured nine coin on your way out of the Imperial Barracks. <clears throat> That's yours to keep. And it goes into your coffers. Does someone want to put it into your shadow sheet? So I oh, was it looks thinking, like you're guys, full. Well, We're full like, in our in the vault. In our shadows. No, we've no we've okay, we had this conversation before. We have a full we, vault because we have yeah. two dots in our vault. Ah, okay. So, yes. uh, but there's still there's only eight spots left, so someone carry the one. But the thing is, right, guys, we have enough here to advance crew tier. Well, we have to f have leveled uh, get our. Rep. But we we have. We'll see. No, no, no. Um, we're not up all the way, are we? Um, well, with um, it's usually your tier times eight, right? That that is required to oh, upgrade. Shit. Yeah, maybe so not. you would need uh, 16 coin altogether, and you would need your rep. Uh, would you but need ours rep is rep half rep? because of patron or something like that. Yeah, half yeah. the coin it normally would. But is that ah. no? It, it is no. It isn't full because we need no. Because that what's what's turf then? We have turf? one turf. You have one turf. But well, no. But I'm saying on the top here, the bar. Yeah. So it decreases our, what we need by one because we just have one turf. Okay. That's what so, turf does. So, um, are we looking to upgrade our <laughs> tier right now? Well, yeah, but well, we'd still need to regain one, two, three, four more rep, basically, to get. Yeah, them. we need four more rep. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's do rep because <laughs> I don't see any. You, 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 during your payout, you also get rep. So you earn two rep per score by default. If the target of the score is a higher tier, um, then you get plus one rep per tier higher. So that puts you at five no, that's rep. Four. Right, shit. Um, okay. So yeah. we got full rep. Or, no, no, four rep. Sorry, four rep. Yeah. It's, uh, okay. And so, so theoretically, we would then need, it would be 24 coin for tier three, except ours is half, so we need to pay 12 coin. Which you can do if you add the nine right now. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. And we're sure that we're at tier two strong. We're sure. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. We oh, definitely, yeah, because yeah, that was the plan. The plan was to, okay. to get to tier three, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the nine coin you just earned, we're not even going to add to the sheet, and you just need to take three coin out of your vault. Take three out, okay. Uh-huh, and then uh, set, reset the rep tracker to zero because you're spending all that rep, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, guys... Welcome to tier three week. Wow. So which also, by the way, guys, which also means that we Earned get five coin. coin in our stash. Yeah, you so we turn nine coin. into 15. Oh That's in each PC's God. stash. Oh, man. Wow, 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 wow. Moving on yeah, up, a little falling cool. apart in other ways, but moving on. <laughs> yeah, right. you're looking you're looking closer to retirement, <laughs> but you are also horribly maimed and psychologically scarred right now so who yes. knows if you will survive long enough to uh, retire in general now wow. let's look at heat four heat loud and chaotic high exposure yeah I'm giving you four heat what wait 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 why you, you we think were that was outside two, of the city you think right? that was a two heat score well I don't think it was two I just don't think it was it was extreme, whatever. Expo yeah, we were outside the city doing this, right? I'm not giving you six heat, wild, devastating exposure. I'm giving you four heat, loud and chaotic, high exposure. Wh who was the high exposure to? Well, let's see. The Imperial Barracks has just released a horrifying demon. Oh, yeah, that part of it. <laughs> but none of them were in there. It was all abandoned. They, they might notice. You know something? People might notice. I... He's an okay, enormous okay, worm okay, with okay, a human okay. face. I forgot about the it second part. It might come part. to someone's attention. Four okay. heat. We'll take it. Which we'll brings it. you to a new wanted level. <sighs> wanted level two. 
I know I've asked Excuse this me. before. Is there getting rid of wanted levels or no? Yes, by getting incarcerated. Oh, that's right, you're out. Which you did at the beginning of the season. Okay. Right. Holy shit, and we got like two wanted levels already? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so um, then we come to entanglements. Now this is what's gonna be weird. This is what's gonna be weird because how are entanglements gonna work when we in are short- talking about a space of a, a short period of time? Let's roll them and let's just see if we can uh, loosely interpret the entanglement in some okay. way. Great. So, would someone like to roll for it? Um, your heat is currently zero because you just turned it into a wanted level. So you can roll um, and you're supposed to roll uh, dice equal to your wanted level. So someone roll two dice. Just 2d6. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. I'll do it. Okay, cool. okay. Go. All right. Uh, I rolled a six and a two. A six and a two. So six is high. So uh, that means that the uh, result is something called cooperation, which I'll read to you now, and then we will interpret it. A plus three satisfaction asks you for a favor. Agree to do it or forfeit one rep per tier of the friendly faction or lose one status with them. If you don't have a plus three faction status, you avoid t- entanglements right now. Well, oh. seems like the we've been asked for a favor by a very powerful faction. The demons. You have, but they are an enemy faction. They're kind of mm. like, you know, I think this is talking about a plus three. That we already have. Faction. Yeah. 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 Do we have and, one? And uh, let's see. Uh, although whether they get... You do. The Path of Echoes is plus three. Uh, so but I don't they see how they would... Ask, it'd be them asking would, us for a favor, and if we say no, we'd lose a, a tier with them, like a... Yeah, but I don't see how any of this happens within the span of an hour or two. So um, what I'm going to rule is I'm going to go Ross's way. Forget the fact. Uh, a, 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 a faction has just asked you for a favor, and this is the deal. If you do not, if you agree to do what the demon sent you to do, you're going to get a plus one rep per tier right now. And I've been saying the demons are like four, tier four. You know, the Leviathan Hunters are tier five, but the the demons are tier four. So you will get um, four rep if you agree to do this for them right now, in addition to the rep for the score. Uh, But if you don't decide to do this right now if you if you don't if you decide to betray the demons and not get rid of the wards then i'm going to make you they're going to come after you right oh, great you're going to be like in trouble with them yeah right. <laughs> so what do you guys think you're going to decide to do are we going to go get rid of those wards? Like, after the downtime? I mean, we're probably going to do it, Yeah, we're right? going to yeah. definitely do it. I yeah. think it sounds like we're going to do it. Yeah. Um, so you're going to betray the Imperial military. <sighs> yeah, that's demon- the problem. Because to demons. Then the Leviathan Hunters <laughs> will be able to take you know over, what? right? Because the Imperials yeah. will be... <clears throat> this is what we're going to do, guys. Huh. We're going to fuck those demons up. <laughs> we like before. We can do it again. I believe in us. All right. Have okay. faith. Because I would rather have demons as enemies than the fucking Imperial military. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we did. Remember when we were in that city? That city sucked. That Imperial city. See what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, um, okay. okay. <laughs> and besides, if think of it this way, right? The Leviathan hunters fuck up every single Imperial. That happened because we helped them, okay? By removing yeah. this demon ward thing. They're still going to come for us. Yes, they're after us. Right, exactly. They exactly. have, yeah, they do have a vendetta against against you yeah. for setting off the whole uh, the conflict. Yeah. Okay. Notice okay, that. So notice that Ross used the term "you," not you. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I wasn't there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, can I? Is, I think Alden is used to playing both sides in sort of in situations like this, and is like. Is there a way of threading this needle, like removing the demon barriers? But as we discussed last time, keeping them so that we could, like, yeah, uh, for your, yeah, to protect, yeah. Um, 
and kind of like let the let them dogs fight and um we, yeah, we think, emerge from the ashes what i'm not sure about is whether the demons are helping the leviathan hunters or not like whether they've made a deal so it seems as though they're fully integrated okay yes if you if you if you yeah. logic it out yeah lord strangford was the leader of the leviathan hunters you yeah. guys discovered that he had demonic corruption that is what caused the civil war. The Leviathan hunters are here now. Yeah. And this guy is breaking out of prison. Yeah, we we got to fight. I mean, it's also what we've been. We got to fight these nobles and this, demo, you know, like what they're using and stuff. I, I, yeah, I think we should not do it. Okay, you're not going to take, you're not going to take the job and there will be a consequence for that pretty immediately. Okay. If you guys are, are you, do you guys agree? Um, <clears throat> Alden is almost like, <sighs> Alden almost wants them both to destroy each other. If there's yeah. a way to, <laughs> I realize that's like a, one of these plans is like, can I have it both ways? But like, uh, the, but the, the, the Imperial military is an impressive force here. The um, <laughs> elite demon hunter, or the elite Leviathan hunters, are clearly a corrupt and oppressive force. Also, um, it's like if if Alden feels yeah, an th- affinity with any faction in Severos, it's the it's the confederations of of uh, nations and and tribes that that run out in the in the Deathlands. Um, yeah, I think so- they're they're equal tier without the demons coming in, right? Like the Imperial and the Leviathan Hunters? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I think that that's that's true. Um, Imperial Military, I think, is Tier 5, and so is the Leviathan Hunters. So here's the deal. Take your downtime, (coughs) and while you're doing it, think of devising a score, and maybe you can devise a score, Alden Sykes, that does neutralize both of them somehow. Okay. I, th- I think in just the the short pitch, not to plan, is like, yeah, let's steal those demon charms, but let's uh, run them into the Deathlands and try to rally the 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 um, the horse lords. Fields? Yeah, and, oh, and, yeah. Uh, and attack and them use, while they're and use them as as protection for ourselves while the the um, the fight imperial other, military yeah. and the and the Leviathan hunters fight each other. I think this is an incredible plan, and uh, that's this not is planning uprising. too much. This is yeah, this and is ideally, they yeah after fighting, they'd be in a weakened state, and like that's the point to attack. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Okay, so here's okay. the deal. Let's do our downtime activities mm-hmm. first, and then we can we can move on with uh, the score that you are talking about. So you can each take downtime activities that include acquiring oh. an asset. We, oh nope, Juliet has something first. What's well, up? We got to do our XP, right? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Goddamn motherfucking XP! And I gotta say, I don't want to press a plan on people. If, if people want to do one, no, no, I love, place. I love this. Yeah, no, I think this no, is a Ross, good idea. perfect. Cool. Um, okay. Sorry, Jared. Well, well, Sorry, no, it's we okay. Our- it's just. It's just that we're in the midst of action and I know. planning well, we, and adventure, and then we're like, okay, let's go through XP. We'll we do want it all quick. our cash and prizes. No, we we'll should, do it we fast. Should. Yeah, we'll let's do, it, do fast. it fast, baby, <clears throat> fast. All right, uh, let's do individual XP first. Desperate actions, you made several. Um, not enough to earn a new dot of anything yet. But we said that these these points are able to go over into your playbook <clears throat> XP, right? Is that allowed, though? I remember having a read someone saying that apparently that isn't the case. Oh, like, really? You can do it yeah. one way, but not the other way. Oh, right. Something. So you can't do playbook advancement into... I thought that, yeah, I thought the deal was we couldn't put playbook advancement yeah, into... Yeah, no, I think that's the case. I think that's the case. You can't do playbook advancement in a... In a you have to train, but you can, I believe... You can I don't know. We don't have any that confirmed, though. We should get it confirmed. No, which, which kind of makes sense, though, because the thing is, is that you can you can max out your your skills. You can never max out your playbook advancement. Really, it takes ages to. I should really just know this. Let me look here. Um. 
All right, character creation summary, uh, factions. <laughs> I forget where to find it. I forget where to find everything about XP. I mean, we've been doing it anyway that way, so let's just play our game that way. Let's just play our game that, that way. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Would you like to move any of your uh, desperate actions into your spe your playbook XP? Talking to you, Maybe. Josephine. Yeah. Oh, I'm first? Oh, jeez. Yep. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Um, I did, uh, e no, I'll keep him there. Okay, great. And now let's look at the questions. Uh, you addressed a challenge with technical skill or mayhem. Yes, take it XP. Okay. You expressed your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. I don't think so. Okay. You struggled with issues from your vice or trauma. Yeah, you were cold. Yes. So go ahead and take an XP for that. Yep. And okay. see, I'm done. It's easy okay. peasy. See, it's quick. It's quick. All right, here we go. Valkos. Valkos, yep. you filled up your prowess bar. Would you like another yeah. dot in something in prowess? Yeah, I'm going to put it in wreck. Okay, great. Ooh. And you have some resolve XP. Would you like to move it over to you, your playbook XP? Mm. No. I just want to. I just want to say that page forty-eight says you may mark end of session XP on any XP tracks you want, any attribute oh. or your playbook XP track. Oh shit! So it looks oh. as though what we've been okay. doing is correct. It's correct. Okay, cool. There you go. <clears throat> this is why you should never listen to anybody that comments on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> that's that's a quick gloss, but um, I may be wrong. Okay, no, that's that, cool. That, that sentence so, pops out. Yeah, my resolve uh, is going to stay in, in resolve. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, then uh, you are keeping your resolve XP there, or are you moving it? No, I'm going to keep it there. Thank you. Okay, very good. And now you addressed a challenge with violence or coercion. Yep. Yep. You expressed your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Yep, you did some Severosi stuff. So that's two. My playbook advancement is full. That means I get a skill. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh Special my Special ability. Uh, I will decide the skill after you do, Ross. Okay, no um, problem. But I'll clear um, that let's up. Just, yeah, you struggled with issues from your vice or trauma. You did. You were vicious. And, and it caused the death of Gritchen. I'm going to put that in my resolve. Great. Thank you. Fantastical. And, and now let us go skill. to Alden Sykes while our friend Valkos chooses a special ability. And... Wait, okay, let me I'm going to... I am also going to move my playbook advancement into one of the. It doesn't change, doesn't level nope. anything up, but I'm just going to move I'm it. Sorry, into one we of those. already dealt with you, Josephine, and you cannot do that. All right. Okay. I'm just joking. Go ahead. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ross, uh, let's look at Alden Sykes. Okay. And uh, he has two desperate resolve XP. I'll just keep that there. I'll keep it there. For okay. Now. And uh, you addressed a challenge with deception or influence? Absolutely. You know I did. Um. And you expressed your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Hmm. Um. Not, not in a way that I feel like I'd have to get really crunchy with describing how I did that. Um, I think I definitely struggled with my vice multiple times. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, you absolutely did. So go ahead and put that, uh, put that on your um, put put a put a point of XP down for that. Okay. Great. So that's everything for you. And uh, Valkos, are you ready to tell us about your new special ability? Yeah, I think I'm going to be going for the uh, lurks. Not lurks. Sorry, the spider's ability of foresight. Two times per score, you can assist a teammate without paying stress. Mm. Tell us how you prepared Ooh, yeah. for this. And I think Sounds that great. comes through um, essentially experience, harder than experience of knowing my team very well. I think that's essentially how I got this ability um, Excellent. as a whole. Let's do crew XP. All right. Crew XP. Um, did you exp uh, execute a successful burglary, espionage, robbery, or sabotage operation? You did not in this case. Did you contend with challenges above your current station? You did, adding one. 
Did you bolster your crew's reputation or develop a new one? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What's your reputation we got up, now? We got up a tier. Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew? The Remnant was originally sort of founded <clears throat> to sort of uh, throw off the yoke of the various oppressive government factions in Duskfall and allow the supernatural to thrive once again. That's very and true. And you are screwing over the Imperial military and uh, allowing demons to run free right now. So I'm going to give you that as well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. I think that is everything. And so, yeah. returning to our downtime activities, who is ready to take one? Well, I want to ask someone to roll a die for me because I took a trauma and I'm stuck between two. And uh, Okay, what do you mean to roll? A, a one, two, three. It, just one die. A one, two, three will okay. be paranoid and a four, five, six will be unstable. <laughs> Wait, actually, shit. Um, maybe you have to do it, Ross. How do you roll a die here? Do you just oh. type slash R? Well, there's that little, and there's that little uh, die icon in the upper left corner in that little oh, toolbar there. Yeah, I got it. Thanks, yeah, dude. Two D six. You got a six. Okay, I'm unstable. Cool. Ooh, <laughs> you're cold and unstable. Yeah. What is? What do you think unstable means? Well, I have it right here in the book. Oh, God damn it! I did have it right here in the book. That's unstable. Mm -hmm. That's unstable. Um, it's right here. Okay, unstable is your emotional state is volatile. You can instantly rage or fall into despair, act impulsively, or freeze up. Wow, mm -hmm. and you're cold. So, you're cold, <laughs> but you also are very emotional. Yeah. They describe cold as me not being moved by emotional appeals or social bonds. That doesn't mean that I don't have emotional bonds. Oh. I'm just not moved by other people's hmm. Great. emotional appeals. <clears throat> Makes sense. All right. Um, scarier. Now, as we, scarier as, we do, scarier. as we always do in this game, now let's do downtime activities. Okay. And now I wait for someone to go, wait, no, we're going to do something else. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll, I'll tell you the, 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 the four actions I'm going to do, because I'm going to take one gold from my stash, which is two essentially, right? Um, so, and put that in and spend that. Oh no, actually, wait, sorry guys. Could I actually take one from the, um, from the vault, if that's possible? How much do we have in the vault? Yeah, because we just used it to level up, right? Yeah. yeah. We should all pay ourselves one coin from that operation, from right? Vault. Yeah, okay. some walking around, some walking around coin. Yeah, okay. take, yeah it out cool. of, take it out take of your... One coin. I'm going to decrease it by three, so we each take one cool. coin, yeah? Okay. okay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to heal, heal, uh, indulge in vice, indulge in vice. Those are my four actions. Okay, great. So... Let's go ahead and have Juliet heal up Valkos a little bit, uh, because okay. that's who you use as your physicer, right? Yeah. So, okay, great. Uh, uh, so with that, I've got essentially, hold on. You get a Vigorous. bonus die. I get a bonus die. Yeah. Right? So that's two bonus die. Yeah. Um, oh, is that oh. right? Oh. Yeah, Wait, you want me to do it. I'm the oh, one. Oh shit! Yeah, sorry. Right. You're the yeah, one yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Valkos got ahead of himself and just rolled dice and got a three and a three. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Let's. Uh, um, no, it's okay. Well, let's have let's have Juliet do it, and hopefully she won't roll that. So yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was just a little bit of a. <laughs> Oops. So that's, okay, that's yeah. on him trying to do field medicine on himself and making it worse. Yeah, like, we what, we, we do have doing? a role. We do have a role here because my. Uh, my players are getting roll happy, but what whoa, I want to know it wait, I want to know before we just roll, what kind of harm is Valkos? Oh yeah. What does well, he I'm, have right I now? I am level but... three harm. I'm horrifically mauled. I also have a level two harm, which is loss of control. I am blown up and I have a headache. Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this guy. okay. Yeah, okay, great. So a five means the healing clock moves, but it, it doesn't move that much for a five. Let's see. Um, 
two segments. That's fine, because I get one clear. So I've got one clear. So I'm cleared up on one thing. So what is that? What do I clear up? Uh, that what does wait, that take? It did you, a full circle? Excuse me. Did you yeah. fill your entire healing clock? Is that what yeah, you're talking? Yeah, I, I had. I had. Yeah. So I've he- okay. healed up my entire healing clock. Okay, great. That means everything moves down one tier. So horrifically mauled is now at a level two. Okay. And um, what did you say? What was the, your level two harm? Uh, loss of control. Loss of control is now at level one, and okay. uh, your level one harms drop off. Now okay, also sick. tough, tough as nails mean. The only thing that's really affecting you now is horrifically mauled, which is giving you negative one die, right? Or no, it's giving you less effect. That's right. Sorry. So I'm going to, so that means I've got now two segments because I've carried one over from the, uh, from the two segments of that I got last and I get one additionally because of my vigorous trait. So I'm going to heal again. Does it carry over? I want to remind myself if it carries over. We've been doing that, I guess, because we like continue healing. Oh, they do roll over. It says right here on page 155. They do Perfect. roll over. So, can I have another heal roll, please? Mm-hmm. I love. Please. <clears throat> yeah. So she's still not happy with you. None of this is... Now she's unstable, too. She was going to be cold the last time <laughs> um, about it. and She's doing this in the most painful way possible. Great. I feel like we just had this conversation and then you went and got yourself possessed by a demon. What if I had lost you? Again, someone else leaving me possessed by some other unnatural being. How do I even know that I'm speaking to you right now? Are they in your head right now? Juliet, please. It's another five. five. So completely healed. I'm now just horrifically mauled in my uh, less effect. As um, my as I've, I've what basically what's happening is my face is just being bandaged up and I'm trying to talk but I can't because I'm like, <laughs> stop moving stop I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do, you're making it worse Juliet I had I, I I I thought I had control I'm sorry it was it was foolish I understand but <laughs> I won't do that again I I, I won't okay. I love you. <laughs> love all right, you and you were gonna you were gonna <laughs> practice your vice as well. So your face is all bandaged up, yeah. and uh, let's just deal with all of your actions. Uh, you do <laughs> go out to the old tree. Yeah. So I don't know if I because we don't have time. So I'm thinking would, and I don't know whether this is whether this would work, but because I was trying to wrestle those demons or the trial to wrestle the demon, would that essentially act as be as a way of trying to wrestle that, you know, trying to indulge the vice in a way. So it kind of has rather than necessarily, you know, you imagine Valkos just walking up to the tree while he's trying to, you know, help the, I don't know. I was thinking maybe that could be part and parcel of, um, of, uh, the device indulging because I tried to r- wrangle that demon twice. You know, I think that, th- you know, uh, I-, I see totally what you're doing. You're just trying to kind of smooth things and make them faster. But I will say that was that happened in the course of a score. It was highly mm-hmm. stressful. You took stress to try to do it. <laughs> so it didn't really relieve stress. So no. I think I think that, you know, um, while you do not have to go back to the shaman in the tree right now, which wouldn't take too much time, honestly. You could, oh, okay. you know, we're saying that, that maybe maybe two hours passes here, which is fine. Like, okay, I think um, I'll go back to the to the to the shaman then. That's what I'll do. Okay, very good. So I'll do my first uh, indulgence with my functioning vice as well. Cool. So that's seven. Damn. Because um, okay. I've got a five, so I can then adjust that by two. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Sixth, seven. So I got one stress left. <laughs> the shaman um, speaks with you and says, "That did not go well." <laughs> you told me to control it. Yes, and then your friends helped you, and they do not know the old ways. Your friends. What do you mean? They did not let you sing to it. They did not let you hold it in your heart. They tried hold to hold a demon. It. Your soul is infinite. It can hold a million spirits. More. If it is at peace. 
if you realize that your flesh is not a wall, it's a curtain, and the breeze can flow through it. Right. Yes. Do not let them interrupt you next time. Do not let them question you. Are you a chieftain? Or are you one of the invaders whose ways are weak and corrupt? Answer! I am a chieftain. I am a chieftain. Then lead them. And next time, tell them not to help you. Yes. And I'm gonna leave. Wait. Let me show you something. And um, he enters your body. And uh, suddenly, you are able to see, look down into the city, and you can see three sort of glowing sort of spots. Two are centered on the Imperial military barracks, but one is sort of hovering over the city, kind of making an orbit over it. What is that? These are what you call demons. They are waiting to strike. You are their master. Compel them. Sing to them. Hold them within you. Do not falter. Because after the city falls, I foresee the land being harmed as well. Well, shit's about to go down, ain't it? (laughs) You say that, and then uh, the shaman parts from you. So, what have you learned? Well, it looks like the enemy is closer than we thought. Yes, and there is a third demon. There's one in the sky. There's one in the sky. God. <coughs> the sky demon. The sky. The sky demon. Okay, so um, you only used one action. You only did yeah. one vice. Uh, so uh, you have an action left. I'm gonna let you think about what you're gonna do with that one. Right well, now, I'm gonna. You did three. You did three, but did you? Did you say I you paid twice. for four? Uh-huh. I'm not. I'm, well, yeah. The, I think. Yeah. The, sorry. The, the the last action. Yes, you're right. I did. I spent a coin on on the fourth one, and that's gonna be a long term one. Okay, a long-term project? Sorry, not long-term. It's going to be training in Resolve. Oh, great. Okay, go ahead. You, um... Oh, how are you training in your Resolve? I think I'm meditating with the... With 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 the the uh, shaman. shaman. Yeah, Yeah. great. Go ahead and take that XP for Resolve. And let us move to Juliette (laughs) Belrose. Okay. Oh, before we do, before we do, forgive me, Juliet. Let's take a short break.
stretches out his holy sword, places his heel upon the neck of the serpent. For now, the hour is struck, the trumpet has been sounded, the dead shall walk again, the serpent comes, but upon all of them he shall place the mark of the beast. All right, sorry, Julia Bell Rose, I interrupted you before. What would you like to do for your downtime activity? Number one. Um, I think I'm going to tinker. Oh, she's gonna build something. Oh boy. She's gonna say, oh boy. That's a choir. <laughs> no, it could be. <laughs> no, it, 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 in, ex, in excitement, in excitement. Well, I kind of want to check, try something out. Um, so. I'm going to craft. Hold, hold for one second. What, is that a downtime activity or is that a free play activity to craft Crafting something? Crafting is a, is a downtime activity. Wh it's, uh, which one is it? Uh, Acquire an asset? During downtime, a PC can tinker with special materials and tools to produce strange alchemicals, but I don't know, it's under crafting that you can only do it during downtime. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, I'm gonna call it the the time you have to use a downtime activity. Even though crafting is not one of the listed six downtime activities, you are using up a downtime activity to do yes, this crafting. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, so, and it is. I don't know why it's not under there, but yeah, because that's where it happens. At least under crafting, it says during downtime. So yeah, you, okay. you spend a downtime activity to do it. Um. Yeah, it says to craft something, spend one downtime activity, make a tinker Bang, world. Bang! There we go. Yeah. Um, so I would like to craft some vitality potion. Hmm. Mm. Uh, which is a tier three potion that accelerates the healing process, giving you a plus four ticks on the healing clock. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. So I'm so going to craft craft one of those. I think there's a higher chance of me being able to craft one of those than there is of me rolling like, a, you know, double sixes or something on yeah, a, for sure. or a six on a healing roll. So I'm going to see, okay. I'm going to see, this is me trying this out. So I'll do a tinker. And you said we have a couple hours. So like my assumption is I went back to the workshop just to like get some stuff done in this time. Right. Um, so there's like the workshop gives plus one quality. So I will roll my tinker now and then I'll tell you what the roll means. Okay. Do submit, submit. Oh, okay. six. I got a six. So a six. six is quality level is tier plus one. Um, plus we have plus one for the workshop. So it's already like a tier five tier at five. this point but I, all i needed was tier three to make this because it's just okay. a tier three item great you have a vitality potion okay and you, you can use it during this town downtime when someone is getting healed right yeah or yeah it just accelerates the ticks on healing clock i assume you can just drink it it gives you plus four ticks on the healing clock okay great who's drinking it i am <laughs> mm -hmm. very telling that you did not use it on valkos yes yeah Saved it for yourself. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You are no, unstable. I, I, quite, I, I, I quite like I quite like being touched and healed. So it's fine. <laughs> oh wow! Now who's been? Can you it's tell me what page? To, can you tell me what page to find the vitality potion on? Yes, I can. It's on page two twenty-seven. It's on the crafting. Yeah. And, uh, vitality potion. Uh, yeah, plus four ticks on the healing clock. That's all it is. Okay, great. So <laughs> I was just making sure it didn't say when you roll at or whatever. Oh, when so, you do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead, whoever. So go ahead and give yourself four ticks on the healing clock, Juliet Bellrose. 
Yeah, so now my blown up is just down to tier, to level one harm. <laughs> okay, and is that all that you had? Um, the, yeah, all the harm I had was blown up, yeah. So it's moved oh, down a level. Great. Uh, and um, you have you have another uh, downtime activity, at least one more. Yeah. And I think I am going to try and craft something else. And this is the part where I'm like, okay, I'm trying to think of something useful. Thinking of maybe crafting like a special something. Um, a there's special black, little something. There's black salt bombs. And those keep ghosts from exiting or entering. <laughs> I would probably, you know, I would probably try to have it be like demon specific. Make something that's like demon specific in this special plan. Um, Cause these are like examples, but instead of a ghost scourge, making like a demon scourge, a plasmically charged chain connected to a, a spirit bottle to entangle a spirit and draw it into the bottle. Yeah, so here's Could the- Could I make a demon version? Here's the thing. Did that, would that require inventing? Because inventing requires studying uh, as a long-term project, etc. I think because it's under the sample ones that we can make them. Because I think under the sample ones... Yes, but you don't want a ghost scourge. You yeah. want a demon scourge. And yeah, that is so not under the sure, example ones. That's, but, so that would be modifying an item. Oh, it which, would? Yeah. All right, yeah. what is modifying an item? What's the rules on that? So a simple, useful modification requires tier plus one, a significant modification. Uh, so... Oh, so you just need to score tier plus one on your roll. It depends, yeah, what you signify this modification as. All right, this is a tier four item. Already, and so yeah. you need to you need to get tier five on your roll in okay. order to succeed to make it, in okay. making a demon scourge. Okay, so I'll try to get a tier five out of this. All right. And essentially see. what you're making, it says a plasmically charged chain connected to a spirit bottle to entangle a spirit and draw it into the bottle. You're basically making the bag. Yeah. Uh, a different oh, nice. version of the bag that Grinchin mm -hmm. had. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what I was going for, yeah. Oh, by the way, I think that bag is still laying in the... The other one is still laying in the Imperial Barracks, maybe. Oh. Might, might snag Unle that. Yeah. Unless uh, it would make sense that maybe one of you would snag it. So um, yeah. let's, let's do this. One of you tried to snag it. Did you have the opportunity? Did you remember... What action did you use? Prowl. Okay, Valkos grabbed it. Valkos, give me a prowl roll. It is uh, controlled for standard effect. Oi. What is going on? What's happening, Abu? I don't understand, man. The, uh... I can't believe your luck has just like changed from incredible to dismal. Like what is going? You know what? You know what? It's saving. It, it's it's. You know, I feel it. It's it's that whole like you know in Creed when you know Creed is on the floor and he's like, his name's Apollo, I think, or Adonis. I don't know. Anyway, the point is he's on the floor. He's in, and he's like you know he's feeling it. This is what's happening to me right now. I'm I'm just waiting to get back up. Mm. That's right. That's right. Down. Waiting to get back up. Well. Uh, in the meantime, it is really good that uh, that uh, Juliette is going to go ahead and make this uh, mm. this item. So Juliette, are we are ready for your crafting roll when you are ready. Yep. Okay, so a five. You got a five. A five gives me equal to tier, so that's three. Our workshop gives it plus one to a four, and I'll spend one coin because it's plus one quality per coin spent to make it a five. There it goes, and now you have a demon scourge. Um, this is going to be more scientific, less like the bag. So yeah. it's like the it's the whole bottle configuration. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, uh, but it is conspicuous. Let's keep that in mm -hmm. mind as well. So you're not yeah. going to be sneaking it past demons. Hey. Hold on. My, Let me see. Someone my might be at my door. My daughter is uh, actually homesick from school today, and I was really. Worried that she would keep knocking on the door <laughs> to uh, say, like, Dad, can you get me a pretzel? Uh, but it turns out Josephine's child is uh, the one being rambunctious today. Mm -hmm. oh, Let's edit Jordan. this part. Okay. Sorry. 
Did you just you know, say, you did know you just put the dog up for adoption? <coughs> no. Uh, stop. How dare you? <laughs> I, just had a, I just had a thought. What's yeah. the thought? I think my die luck has gone to my daughter. <laughs> really? And oh, yeah? Uh, how do you explain because that? She's like avoiding the most ridiculous falls and horrible sort of <laughs> element like to another level like they're, like literally like just now um well not just now like today you know we've got this corner which we do have like a soft sort of thing on but they, like i don't know what it is it was almost like she she fell backwards but forwards and i'm like that's like Michael Jackson shit. Like she literally just like <laughs> she just like, defied fucking gravity. And I'm like, who she's the fuck is like, criminal? I'm telling you. From. And I'm like, that is ridiculous. Actually, there's been several instances of this, and I think that's where my luck has gone. Children huh? take everything from you, <laughs> including <laughs> including your luck. Oh, man. They take everything, Apu. Everything. All right, let's okay, just let's keep playing. Right. Okay. Uh, Juliet, uh, do you have any other downtime activities? Uh, no, because I only, oh, well, so I only have two, but during downtime, I get two ticks to distribute among any long-term project clocks that involve investigation or learning a new form of another design plan. So I'm going to put two into the alternate fuel source as well while I'm working away. Ooh, how close does that put you toward the alternate fuel source? We're still, there's still four ticks away. Wow. In interesting. Getting there, getting there. Okay, yeah, I, love that, getting there. I love that while Juliet is getting ready, ready for what feels like the final battle, she's like, and I'm just going to work on this a little bit also. Um, <laughs> I'm always thinking about it. Well, you're, <laughs> uh, you know, you're a uh, polymath. You're able to do that kind of Leonardo da Vinci stuff. Okay, <laughs> so uh, Juliet has done that, and now we turn to Alden Sykes. Alden, downtime Alden need, activities. Alden needs to de-stress and bad, so I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I think uh, if, if Ju Juliet's going back to the workshop, he might attend. It sounds like we're all maybe sweeping back in that direction to do our, yeah. our healing and going up to the tree and and everything. So, well, I think I will I will indulge in some weird vice to get this stress level down. I've seen some terrible, terrible things today. Yeah, um, and his vice is weird. Yes. And what have we done before for Alden? We've, I think we've, the purveyor, I think, was, was Gritchen. Um, oh, right. So, who's now gone. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh. Sorry, bro. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I burned your, your, your plug's face off. Um, <laughs> yeah, In the so. words of SNL character Gilly. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> break out, break out character. Um, so I've got to do some that other. Was so lame. I'm, it's making me laugh. Okay. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what are you okay. talking about? Okay, uh, okay, so you got a weird vice. So what I do you need? Weird... So hey, look, you got a yeah, weird vice. You... It's not so bad. What do you okay, need? Okay, so can you're I a rocket you scientist. Somehow? That can don't I help you impress somehow? me much. Okay, a weird vice. Uh, well, so uh, traditionally it's been dealing with your your ghosts, right? That's right. I've been kind of like uh, communing with them. Do you need so, some drugs? Do you need anything? In the darkness of the workshop, while you watch Juliet work, you feel their presence around you. And I think just maybe just talking to them or interacting with them in some way could perhaps relieve some stress. Maybe right, I'd well, tell you because I've got the super. I can tell when supernatural entities are nearby. I say, "Your friends are here. They're right. watching. They're so, always watching you." I'll I'll roll resolve um, to see how well I do. Okay. Okay, and I rolled a four. That's not too bad. Yeah. So you clear four stress, right? That's mm -hmm. right. Okay. So let's see number, how this interaction goes. Um, yeah. Who do I see, Jared? Well, who, there's who the Severosi woman, the Severosi woman who at one point said, I loved you and you betrayed me. Right. There is the uh, <laughs> woman in a rabbit mask who you may remember from earlier today. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> there is a uh, a man in a rumpled suit who we at one point saw on the edge of a cliff go, no, 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 Alden, tell him it, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. And then uh, he got uh, shot and fell off the cliff. And uh, there are others that you can invent at, invent at your leisure. Great. So it's the whole dang gang. Oh, yeah. just go for who, who you saw first there. And, um, and yeah, a woman, so Rossi woman, uh, and, um, Maybe out of the corner of her eye, Julia Bell Rose just sees um, Alden reaching out to no one. And, um, it's like, oh no, I betrayed you. Does not mean that. I still think of you each night. The love was real. I did everything I could to get you out. I worked every angle. I tried. When you work with the military, they... They focus on the ends. They they don't have time for the means. You told me where to find. You told me where to find your confederation, your tribe, your horsemen. I, I begged them. I begged them not to take them all. <laughs> if you died, it was my fault. If your kinsmen died, it was my fault. She is looking at you with accusation at first, and then she, her face softens. And you see it so clearly, Alden. Mm-hmm. And although there is not forgiveness there in her eyes, you see her sort of recede into the shadows, back into the ghost field. Mm-hmm. They told me to get close. I knew I could get close. I knew I can lie and buy my way with lies. I didn't know how I'd, how I'd come to feel about you. Zola, if I could only hold you one more, one more time. And that, and she's gone. And I'm gonna roll again because I've, I've got more to clear. Okay. Let's keep um, going. And that's a five, so that's an overindulgence. Oh, oh no! no. Yeah. An s- oh overindulgence. Okay. So I'm clear, but something happens. Uh, something happens, and the overindulgence can be, it can be, it, it can be bad. Let's take right. a look. I had to try. I, was, I, I needed yeah, yeah, that stress, yeah, baby. Yeah. And um, where, how many? Well, you were at four more, right? You had right. four more. Oh, so you just barely overindulged. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I, I love that been... this is in the workshop. Like, I, <laughs> if I could see you, I would love to see what happens. If your vice rolls clears more stress levels than you had marked, you overindulge. When you overindulge, you make a bad call because of your vice and acquiring it or while under its influence. To bring the effect of this bad decision into the game, select an overindulgence from the list. Here they are. Plus two heat. Lost, your character vanishes for a couple weeks. Tapped, the current purveyor cuts you off. Impossible in this case. Attract trouble. Select or roll an additional entanglement. Alden, (laughs) they're just pissed at you for thinking that you could talk your way out of this too. Mm -hmm. Unquiet dead entanglement has been applied to you for the rest of the coming score unquiet right. dead will be bothering you so is that do i mark that on a on my harm or do or is that just a no but I, I it's my job to remember that in addition to trying to do this very hard thing that you're about to try to do <laughs> your ghosts will be antagonizing Screw you the entire me. time okay 
And then I will spend a coin to get one more, and I gotta clear this remorseful quality. Um, okay. And how, okay. how how would Juliet Bell Rose heal a psychological problem? <clears throat> you betrayed your love. Um, he was in a reverie. He was like, and he doesn't like being overheard and spied on. But uh, it's like um. The betrayal came first, the love came after. Love is a complicated emotion. But you see, all of these feelings that we have inside of us, they are still but a part of science. We all work in specific ways, and sometimes our mind, it softens too much, it feels too much, and we need to quiet that part of our mind. We need to turn it off, but for a moment. Have you ever thought to try and quiet the voices you may hear inside, the ones that tell you to feel so strongly, to worry in this way? I can, you know, I have some substances that can help calm these emotions. Let spent, me tend to you. I spent many a, many a month drowning myself in substances, trying to make the voices go quiet. But if you have something that can make me sharp, focus up, keep from uh, losing control, give it over, Bell Rose. And um, yeah, I'll. I'll dose myself with whatever concoction she gives me. I think I do a little, a little mix of. I think I put some spark in there because spark makes you feel good. Yeah, okay. sure. And let's get that physical roll. Oh please, oh please. Oh, that's a four. That's a full. Okay, there's a four in there. So that's okay. a full. Is... No. A no? four not is not, as... not great. It's two segments. Oh, okay. So I'm still I'm still under the effect of that. All right. Yeah. What What are your harms right now, Alden Sykes? <clears throat> it's just that remorseful. Uh, yeah, and that's a less effect, psychological right? harm, less effect. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But remember, it's only when it's a psychological issue, you know, a psychological action that you're trying to take, right. probably. And probably if I'm going to call upon to commit an act of horrible violence. Now, mm, you yes. know, not to power game or anything, but in the future, it might be better to, if we have like a coin or something, for me just to like craft another vitality potion to like use these uh, to yeah, craft more yeah, things because yeah. they're really strong. Yeah. But unfortunately, there I mean, was no time. Mm -hmm. And you know that you must act soon or the demon is going to <laughs> act against you. So here's the deal. We've floated a plan for the next score. The plan is to steal those demon wards around the camp of the Imperial military, then take them and use them to arm the nomads out in the wilderness to create your own army. That to me sounds like two scores <laughs> or like a score and then a lot of free play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you guys think? Does it, what is it that, that you agree with that, right? Yeah. It sounds major for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, the score so, sounds just like stealing the, the wards. Right. And you and are shadows. Stuff. So burglary is your thing. Mm-hmm. So the score is to go to the Imperial encampment at the docks. Take all of the demon wards that are there and get out. Mm -hmm. This encampment we are speaking of is currently being bombarded by Leviathan hunters off the coast. <laughs> it is full war. You're going into a war zone to do this. Mm -hmm. right. So what approach are you going to use for this score 
Well, I guess because of the fact that we are. I mean, it's it's this is the perfect this is the perfect place to, to hide, right? To be to be as skulky as possible. So I I vote for the the least. You know, what 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 are the options again? Yes, they are <laughs> assault, deception, stealth, occult, social, and transport. Stealth, baby. Stealth. That's stealth. Right. Yeah. It's too much we'll noise. To, there's noise. Yeah. There's chaos. We will They're slip distracted. in. Slip yeah. out like the shadows we are. Yes. Okay. So you're going to trespass unseen. What is your detail? What is your point of infiltration? So I can just tell you that... Uh, when I say encampment, I really mean that the Imperial military has moved big guns onto the docks. They have, uh, a, a, in the buildings right off of the docks, they have planted themselves, right? And, uh, and created sort of a command center. Uh, and they have uh, many, many, many soldiers. In fact, almost their entire force that was in Irondale waiting in those buildings should the Leviathan Hunters start to come on shore. However, they're constantly having to move soldiers because of the bombardment, which is destroying buildings there uh, at the edge of the city near the water. That is all stuff you would know just from kind of looking down there and using logic. There may be other factors you are unaware of. Now, there is time for one gather information roll. One. There is not time for two or three. <laughs> well, let's let's do it. Um, who yeah. would like to Who would like to make that gather information roll? Alden. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Remind me how that works. Do I just uh, roll one? You, you pick an action. Oh, okay. That you're using, and then that'll let me know what kind of information you're going to get, actually. And you right. describe how you gather the information, and then based on your roll, we'll we'll tell you what you learned. Great. I talk to a citizen and uh, maybe a worker who's who's um, gone, who's been who's been helping with the uh, transport of the uh, of the military materiel to this little redoubt that they've constructed, so I can get a sense of um, what it looks like, what basically all the information I can get out of it. Um, Great. And you're go. using? Did you say consort? I'm using sway to, sway. to chat with somebody. Okay. Here we go. That is a five. Okay. A five. Yeah. All right. So, a five, I think a five would let you know this. You want to know what the command center looks like, mm -hmm. right? Because you figure maybe the wards would be in there. Makes sense. And you are told by a citizen that just came from there that the detail he noticed that he had never noticed the Imperial military use before are enormous tapestries that have been draped over the building mm. with strange sigils on them. Okay. The wards are enormous swaths of cloth like flags that have been draped over several buildings. Gotcha. Okay. So all you have to do is steal those. <laughs> Great. <laughs> all right. Okay. Are we ready for the engagement roll? Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Okay. <coughs> One die automatically. Idea. One die automatically. Two die, because as you've said, they are distracted. They're not worrying about other things right now. They are fighting the Leviathan Hunters. Three die, because you know wh what you're trying to steal, and you didn't necessarily know it before. Okay? And uh, I'm trying to think of what might detract from this. And I'm, and you also are aware of that, that demon overhead. So I'm going to say nothing detracts from it. Three dice. If you get a six, controlled. Four, five, risky. One to three, desperate. I rolled a three. 
a five and a six. <sighs> so I think that we forgot to determine the point of infiltration. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Our six tells us it can be anything you want right now. <laughs> and and uh, no one knows you're there because it was a stealth operation. So where are you to begin? Are we next to the command center? <laughs> well, why be next to it when you can? Why be next to be it when you can be? Yes, exactly. We're on top of it. Yeah, isn't yeah, the stuff yeah. on it? Yeah, we need to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's be. So we're, we're on top, top of the command center. Top. I think we fully snuck in, gone under the wire, like run through. Uh, All right, we lurks. begin with you guys on a uh, four-story building that's, you know, uh, you know, uh, 200 <laughs> feet away from the edge of the docks. Okay. And you are already on top of it. And when you get up there, you've already taken out some sentries that were up there. Uh, or you <laughs> maybe you've snuck around them or, or, or driven them off. But either way, there are no guards up there. There are no uh, soldiers up there. And you realize that not only... Are there in- enormous uh, flags with the sigils hanging off of this building? There are four, one for each side of the building. It is a square shape. Uh, there's also an enormous sigil on sort of a flag that lays on top of the surface of the ceiling of the building. And as you sit there, uh, you also notice that there are flags on the buildings on either side. Okay. You don't have to steal all of them, maybe, but th- I'm just letting you know. And one other detail I'd like to tell you about in your controlled position. Every once in a while, a big shadow floats overhead. You can only barely see it because it's black against the black of the sky. But something is up there over you. Demons in the sky. Oh, yeah. I'm kinda, you, can, you can just see me looking up and just sort of staring. Be like, that's the one. That's that the one. A, that was the year. Um, so. Okay. Um. All right. I have so an we're, idea. We're off, we're off to the races. Go for it. How big are these? Like how heavy? You said tapestries. Uh, they're very big. They're they're big enough to kind of cover most of the side of a building. Yeah, but am I thinking like rug? ish like ta- when you say a tapestry like they yeah. are more, i would say more flaggish if that makes flag- a difference okay. to you okay. it's, flag- they're flammable. Flammable. it's they're flammable but if we want okay <clears throat> what if so are we worried about the weight of everything yeah like gathering this theoretically gathering not this just is the like heavy weight, and the, the, not just the, the weight the bulk what is everybody's yeah. loadout oh yeah oh. here we go for this, I think we would have gone heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, yeah, the bulk, the size of them, and then having people notice because they're hanging off the side of the building. And guys, there are people running around down there. Sure. Okay. Taking out, I've got my line thrower at my hip. I'm just going to go ahead and take gadget. This is one that we made forever ago. The line thrower. Are these buildings like the same sort of height? Um, the two or... on either side of this one are sec- uh, two-story buildings. This is a four-story story okay. building. So quite a drop to... to the buildings on either side. I want to douse these tapestries with drift oil. <laughs> oh. If I recall, drift oil makes things float? Yeah, and buoyant. Okay, great. Um... I'm not going to make you roll to do that. I'm just going to ask you, how much drift oil do you have? Well, I have two bandoliers with three slots each, so I could have up to six, like, doses of drift oil. Each tapestry requires an entire bottle of drift oil. Yeah, figured. Um, Okay. Yeah, and and so there are five on this building alone. Well, that's one, you know, like I'll, I'll do, I'll spend five slots. Okay. <laughs> and so be- because you're doing all Can, of them, including. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, yep. Can I assist you? Well, I don't think I well, am having to roll, am I? No. Well, you're about yeah. to. You're about okay. to. 
And the yeah, reason yeah. is, if you're doing the ones on the side of the building, people could spot you. So, uh, oh. if you want to not be noted by soldiers, then you need to give me some sort of a roll. That Valkos can aid. Okay. Um. Ooh. Yeah. Well, then I'm going to use. Okay. Let's do. I'm going to use survey actually because. I want to survey the location as I'm doing this to time this between, you know, sentries, guards going by to yeah. understand what's going on, sense trouble before it happens. That's a, so I can time out way, when I'm applying this. And the way that I'm assisting you is I'm being your eyes as yeah. well. Great. <clears throat> Great. Perfect. Take the stress, Valkos. Add a die, Juliet. And, uh... I don't you, have to take uh, any stress because it's foresight, but, uh... <laughs> Two times per school, you can assist a teammate without paying stress. Oh, that's right. Okay, and I'm gonna make this. Uh, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this risky, meaning they'll spot you, okay. set up an alarm, and then people will be running to the roof. And um, if you fail, okay, okay. so risky for. Um, I'll call it great effect. If you succeed in this role, you'll have applied drift oil to all of these tapestries meaning to be clear they are buoyant and easy to carry right they're like incredibly yeah. light but they don't float off into the sky right no they don't like float upwards no they okay. just float yeah okay okay so risky for great effect i was really hoping we'd get like a you know flying carpet <laughs> well maybe you will let's find out what happens mm-hmm A six. Critical. Oh, two sixes. Critical. Two sixes, baby. I like to be. <laughs> so a, fly, a flying carpet, if you want, but describe to me what you would like to have happen with these, with these wards right now. Oh yeah. Okay. So we can I, like presumably gather them up ourselves. They're huge, though, right? Like, um, I guess. I don't know the strengths of this drift oil, but would it be enough to like almost like hold us up if we're on these buoyant? Yeah, I mean these things are these things are huge. The way I imagine it is like it's like suddenly like they are like extremely light and easy to maneuver, yeah. and when you when you throw them up, they kind of stay in the air for a while. Yeah. I don't know about a magic carpet that could fly <laughs> and be steered around the city, but certainly if you grabbed them and jumped with them, it would yeah. be a kind slow descent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let, and, let's and, each and, Yeah, we could one. get to the other buildings like flying yeah. squirrel style. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if we can bunch the other two up, because we've got like two extras there, with a heavy loadout, can like part of that loadout be like a very large sort of bet to stuff these into? Like the extra? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you should be able to, with a heavy loadout, stuff these. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, you want to stuff the other two into sacks. Okay. Yeah. So the only thing I'm going to say is just like applying the oil was something that could be noticed, even more noticeable would be pulling them up, right? <laughs> like pulling them off the side yeah. of the building. Yeah. So are you, do you want to take an action to avoid people noticing that there has been a problem? Or do you want to just say, it's go time. We planned this. We're we're grabbing these and moving on right now. We want to avoid detection? I think so. Explain think to me so how too. you would do that. How would yeah. you avoid detection? All right. Well, clearly we must have brought some items to replace these tapestries with. Right, that's the wait. Uh, like when did you do? Flashback. When did you do that flashback? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so flashback. What did you do? Uh, flashback. We knew because of Alden's like, you know, gathering information. Maybe how big these ta we do know. Yeah, how big these tapestries were. So we knew that it would be noticeable, and so we, you know, sourced some giant swaths of fabric of the same color that we could just roll out and replace these with um you certainly did so uh still replacing requires you know a little bit of like uh, <laughs> you know sleight of hand made huge yeah. so Finesse. i still need a, i still need an action to do that but now you have a perfect like setup here where people might not notice 
Finesse? Yeah. Sure, sure. Well, I don't want to do... I'll take the stress for the flashback if someone else wants to handle uh, placing the new ones as I pull up the... I love that flashback so much it's going to cost you one stress. Okay. Great. So we got huge <laughs> bolts of fabric. <laughs> no, yeah, I can we help. got I up here with right somehow. I'm um, the new ones. <laughs> Who wants to make the switch without being noticed? I feel like maybe we walked up with like artillery guns dressed up almost like uh, <laughs> yeah, like, uh like... Um, gunners and then we opened up the boxes and it's these huge rolls of fabric. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll make the switch. Okay, okay. great. Valkos, maybe it's a deal where you're like, you unroll the fake and then you slide the real one out from under it or something. But regardless, uh, uh, what action are you going to use? I thought I heard finesse. Yeah, finesse. Okay, great. That definitely seems like a finesse action. Uh, this will be risky. Uh, it will be for uh, a great effect. I'll just allow you to get all of them right now. Um, okay. And, uh, you know, the consequence if you fail is that the Imperial military will know you're there and they will start uh, reacting. Now, the problem is Valkos has had horrible dice luck. How many dice are you rolling? Three? Hold on, wait a second. I'm rolling three, but I'm just taking some energy from my daughter. Just wait two seconds. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Absorb that. It, that yeah, okay, yeah. I got it. Take it I back. It. I got it. I got it. Okay. There we go. We got a six. Yes. yes. He's there back. it is. He's back. Thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys are now... Uh, you, you have... Put flags, uh, tapestries down in their place, and no one has noticed. And you are now holding five enormous tapestries that are kind of like, you know, blowing in the, the wind that's not even there, like kind of uh, diaphanously uh, floating around you in a beautiful way. Mm. If you've ever seen the Cape of Spawn, it's kind of like that. <laughs> The comic book Spawn. Oh, we love it. Wow, Sick. what a weird description, but <laughs> truly Twisted. like that. Okay. okay, well, two of them get stuffed in a bag, and then yes. we each have one. Um, shall we move to the next building? Yeah, sure. Should we, or divide yeah. and conquer? Are we all going? Because the, the buildings divide. are on either side of us, right? Yeah, there's two other buildings that have these? Yeah, Looks like, it seems conquer. like two teams would go off and... Yeah, grab. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. How are we dividing? I, uh, um, <laughs> perhaps. Well, we could. We, we could. are our own demise. I know. Every I, know. Time. I mean, we could, we okay, let's stay, as, let's stay as one team, actually. No, we work better as in unison yeah. as, as a team. So let's do that. So let's go to the Love building it. to the left, for example. Cool. Okay, okay. great. We want to float down? Yeah, sure. yeah. And I'm not going to make <laughs> you roll for that, okay? Um, you um, you uh, begin to float down, and because of the angle you're at, I don't think anybody is noticing you. They're all facing off the coast, right? But I can tell you that uh, as you land, um, they, you notice that currently there's nobody on top of the roof. There are, again, like uh, five tapestries hanging off of this building one on the roof and um you start perhaps uh your um well do you have enough drift oil again i don't know that i want to use up all of my alchemicals anyway no i don't have enough slots anyway yeah um i think right. we need to do something different for these ones we have <laughs> some to keep for ourselves and now these ones i think we should just get rid of could could i i don't know whether this is a whether this is allowed um, but I was thinking of, like, you know, maybe flashbacking and maybe helping you sort of make potent sort of drift oil, maybe. Because we, you know, we relayed this and we knew this info. We knew that we were going to be doing the tapestry. We knew we were doing so, this. So maybe, like, to give you maybe, like, you know, it's, it's right, I know it takes, like, one whole bottle to, uh, to do one. What if we, you know, flashback to successfully sort of made one which could do two instead. <laughs> um, potent drift oil. Yeah, um, that feels like a modification crafting role uh, mm -hmm. more than a flashback. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe there's another angle on it that would work, but um, right now I am going to say no. Okay. Yeah, okay, no, that makes the sense. GM fair. says it's no. Fair. Sometimes the GM says no. That no. makes that's fair. That's fair. Well, let so me I just. Guess we, 
paint a scene for you one more time, because I think we, we, we kind of uh, we kind of went too quickly through what just happened. <laughs> you guys, uh, we, we've got to see this right in our yeah, mind's yeah. eye. Yeah. Three, three of you <laughs> leapt from a building with this like tapestry floating behind you, and you glided down below you. Crack, 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 boom, crack, crack. It's like you're floating over the Battle of Gettysburg, slowly <laughs> landing. You hear shouts, screams below you, lights dotting the landscape and out into the sea, fires everywhere, and you land on the other building. And uh, before you can decide or show me what your plan was for these other wards, a cannonball strikes the roof. Bricks go flying, and all three of you are in, dam in danger of getting harmed. And the way you're going to get harmed is you are going to fall down into the building as the roof partially collapses. Whoa. What do you do? Okay, I have an idea. So we are not necessarily completely down, right? So we, we, you'd say we're like third story, right? We're, we're in the third, like... You're on the wise. second story now because you're on a two-story building. This is once oh. landed the cannon. Oh, is it the once cannon hits, landed? Or is it? So let me just paint it clearly. You are on the roof of the right. new building you glided down to. The cannonball did not hit your bodies directly. It hit the roof nearby. Oh shit! It, that okay. is the roof of the entire building, which is two stories. And now that roof is partially collapsing. So if you do not do something now, you will fall down into the hole. Use your um your your yeah. Line get, like Batman gun line Batman thrower line to get thrower. us to the other to get us to the other building. Yeah. You're already on. Uh, you're gonna go back to the building you were on before. Is that what you're meaning? No, no I think it's like one. a hold you're on right. sort of thing, and shooting like to the tall one just to like swing over to the one on the right side. Yeah. Okay. So there was a center building. It was four mm -hmm. stories. You were on top yeah. of it. You glided yep. down to the one on, let's say, the left side of it, mm -hmm. or the, the maybe we we call it the uh, western side of it. And now you want to just go all the way around the center <laughs> building to the other one using one grapple gun shot? <laughs> I don't I think so. <laughs> I know it's theater of the mind, but it's not theater of the incredibly <laughs> imaginative mind. Okay. Uh, so the so the roof is collapsing, or the building yeah, is collapsing. The well, right now, just the roof. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, you can certainly use a grapple gun. I just yeah. don't think you can use it to swing all the way around to the no, uh, think, a building okay, on the first side. Swing it back to the to the big building, then, right? Well, is there a, a place like is the entire roof gone, or is there still a ledge to go stand on? Like, should we shoot it to the entire the ledge, roof you know? is not gone. Uh, but it is starting to collapse, so it. it will soon be gone. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's. I don't know. Yeah, I'll shoot it back up to the four-story building because high ground's high ground, and we can reassess. And and whoever's I'm holding going... on to my tapestry can come with me. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll hold on to the tapestry, like. It's a group effort, right? I've imagined that I have it like cloaked around me too. And it's just this giant cape so behind. Cape. So it's very Spawn's cloak, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, hmm. So if I understand correctly, Juliet is grappling onto the building you just left, and Valkos is kind of holding on to her or holding on to the, yeah. the tapestries. Okay. Do you want to just come? Do we want to just do a group action to do this? We're swinging back. Um, Sure. Or you want to do something different? I, I well, okay. Here's here's what I'm I'm thinking. Uh, in order to bring resources to bear, I, I would like to. I want to get Isaac in here. Um, <laughs> the, uh, ah, yes. Yeah. The hole um, that uh, whose contract I'm in the process of of uh, nice. buying. Yeah. And um, so I would like. I think I might. If this drift oil thing didn't didn't go off. Totally as planned. I think Plan B was cut these things off and have them drop into his, uh, into his. Um, oh yeah. Uh, into the flatbed yeah. of, of Isaac's um, hull's truck chassis. So I think if I can have, if I can flash back to have arranged him to be on site. Yeah, let's do the briefest of scenes. Isaac is standing in front of you. <laughs> this is now not only a favor. 
Athene, the military has their back against the wall. The Duskwall, the uh, Imperial City and Duskwall Company, is on the verge of collapse. The, the nobles are corrupted, driven through with demons. Now, my, my offer now isn't just your, your peace. It's freedom. To strike dun, dun, back. Dun, 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 dun. I put my hand on his uh, on his little camera <laughs> snout. It's like a little <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine, yeah. but darker. Mm-hmm. Really good <clears throat> truck acting, Jared. Thank you. Dun, dun. Okay, um, you uh, can take, uh, since you're bringing in a quite valuable asset, I'm going to yeah. make you take two stress for that flashback. Aye, aye. And um, uh, I can tell you that uh, as you are all dealing with this collapsing roof, Isaac is moving down the street uh, and Imperial military are going, hey, what the heck? And all of a sudden, they're firing on Isaac. Ting, ting, ting. But the bullets are just bouncing off of his iron shell. And now you have done that. So what do you do, Alden Sykes? Well, first of all, let me get the action roll from Juliette Bell Rose. And if she wants to do a group action with Valkos, you can do that. Do you guys want to do a group action? Just the two yeah, of you? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that means uh, you're going to both roll the same action. What is the action you're going to roll? Um, Probably prowl, right? I'm going to do tank. Tank? Or we well, all do you, the same? You must all do the same. That is how a group action works. How, how many, how how many about, do you want to prowl? Zero. How about <laughs> okay, great. skirmish <laughs> in the skirmish. Physi- <laughs> no, 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 skirmish, skirmish <laughs> to shoot a grapple gun and swing onto another building. No, no, to lift ourselves up onto I mean, another hey, building. Hey, well, how about study? How about, uh, how about, uh, how about a tune? You can you know, use the, them all. It's, it's very heavily physical activity. It's not, you know what? No to skirmish. Unless okay. you can tell me who you're finesse. fighting. Do finesse. Do finesse. Because how many you got in finesse? Zero. What the oh fuck, God. man? Have you got like everything what? in sk- Okay, you know what? What is this build? Prowl. It is not optimized. I, okay, <laughs> do, tink- what, do tinker. What, what do you have? Do you do have tinker? tinker? How many tinker do you have? <laughs> zero. Exactly. So, do tinker. Okay. No. Only one of us has to succeed. You want to do prowl? Prowl makes sense. Okay, let's do prowl. Okay, but the person that's the leader is going to be the prowler, and then the other person's going to roll prowl, and if they fail, the other person takes, the, the leader takes stress. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Okay, who's the leader? I, I am. Oh, okay. you're leading. Yeah, that makes because sense. He have, has how many of you on prowl? Zero, but I just figured I'd take the stress because I'm just, I've got the, the mind oh. or whatever. Yeah, right. But, Juliet, understand that you are leading the action. If you fail, it fails. No, so no, no, that's not, it just one of us has to succeed on the is group that true? action. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I still think it should be the person with more dice that okay, leads it. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. So, so uh, you, let's... you toss me the grappling gun. Yeah, and there I we go. kind of grab onto you with your amazing cloak and I fire um, to the, um, to the uh, building uh, okay. as I roll prowl. I should have called you know, Sarah. I fail. I should have called on Sarah. What are you doing? I should have called on Sarah. I should have called what on Sarah. You, what's, why didn't you pull that energy back in? I should have explained the, uh, the, you know, whether it was risky. I should have said what the consequences are. Uh, we didn't, uh, everything about that role went haywire, including its result. So because I didn't set the stakes, I will, okay. be, e- I will be easy on you. Okay. And I will say that your grapple gun fails to make purchase on anything, and you are now falling into the building proper. Meanwhile, Alden well. Sykes, what? Nope, we're moving on, and we'll come back to you in a second. Okay. Alden Sykes, what do you do? I think Alden just kind of <laughs> swills over and sees almost they're sort of <laughs> them fumbling and then tumbling. I think it is us bickering about it, like, like lovers <laughs> bickering and like. <laughs> like, it's like you hold the line. No, you hold the line. Yeah, that's not how you use it. <laughs> and as they as they kind of stumble in, 
uh, Alden also sees a man in a cheap suit falling into the hole as oh, if Jesus. off the edge of a cliff. It's just like, nah, 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 nah. and um, then uh, he will with a knife. How are I assuming that these flags are attached to like grommets or something on the side of the building? He's gonna like, cut the closest one off and just let it flutter down into Isaac. Yes, and um, that works, yeah. And then he will uh, grab his float flag and his do the same. Flag. Uh, gently fall down the side of the building into uh, Isaac's chassis. Okay, great. So you got rid of some of the wards on this building, but not all of them. That's right. And I think that uh, all of this does require some sort of action operation because there's a lot happening and you're having to do it quickly before the, the ceiling gives way. Absolutely. So what action would you like to use? For all of that, um, holy free holies. That sounds like finesse to cut and to... It does to me too. Or maybe so, prowl? Um, I... I mean, do you want to know my opinion? Sure. <laughs> I prefer finesse. Let's do it. And I'm going to okay. use... I'm going to finally use that Rook's Gambit ability where I will roll my finesse, but... I will use, because uh, I can use my highest action rating and apply it to that. Yeah. <laughs> so instead I'll roll sway, but I'm really, quote, rolling finesse, unquote. Okay. Right. Okay. Great. See, that's what that's what special abilities are for. But so I have to here's take stress, the deal. Of yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. So listen, um, this is going to be, uh, is this desperate? No, this is risky. It's risky for standard effect. If you succeed, you will get down into Isaac's flatbed. If right, you great. fail, you will fall into the building with Juliet and Valkus. All right, here we go. Um, the knife like snips the snips the pinions, and I'm holding one floaty flag in one hand and one very like significantly uh, more gravitationally inclined flag with the other, <laughs> and. I roll a six. Oh my God, a what? Six. Yes. Alden, <laughs> you float down into Isaac. Uh, Imperial military soldiers are firing at him. Ping, 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 and <laughs> the flatbed is not completely covered. Sure. So um, we'll have to deal with that situation in a uh -huh. moment. Meanwhile, Juliet and Valkos, you f have fallen down into the second floor of this building. And I'm not gonna give you any harm yet, but I can tell you that the ceiling truly seems to be collapsing in its entirety now. You are like in an upper room with like, I don't know, it looks like it was used for storage or something for this warehouse. So there's a lot of old boxes and old furniture up here. And um, there is a ceiling made of stone and uh, plaster that is falling down on top of your heads. <laughs> what do you do? Is there a table? There is. We still have I, our floaty tapestries too, which is probably so, how we didn't take harm, right? Okay, so we could probably use yeah. it because my either my suggestion was either to to be the clever clogs and s s sit under a table and wait for it to pass as it's oh, an earthquake. Oh yes, the earthquake. Right, but we can also jump out of a window with a floaty tapestry, which is also very clever, and aim for because it's the same building, right? Aim so for I the think hole, it's yeah. aim for the hole, right? Yeah, it's just two stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I to love this. To rejoin Alden. So you're gonna yeah. run and jump out the uh, out the window and try to land in the uh, in Isaac's bed as well. Yeah, yeah. you want to jump in tandem and like I think at the same time it's like, how do you not know how to use a line throw? We've been using it for months I, now. I well, if you maybe just let me do my thing, then what? I would have not possibly well, been you successful. Do your thing? Just uh, push us both out of the window. <laughs> okay, great. What action are you using? I think it'd be finesse again, or skirmish, because if you're pushing me out a window, skirmish. <laughs> skirmish. I love it. This, this, this. You know what? We can lead a group action again. Uh huh. And do I'm finesse. I'm tackling him out the window. No, let it be wreck. Let's break this window. Or wreck. Process. Yeah, or wreck. Wreck sounds great. That sounds okay. exactly right. Because it makes a nice <laughs> shattering of the window, which would look cool in a movie. Okay. Yeah, this, this should wreck. be a cool shot. Do yes. you want to leave this this time? Because I'm stupid. You're stupid? What's her position? Well, Risky? Hey. Your position is 
Uh, <coughs> this time, desperate, because I think there's going to oh. be some harm come to you if this goes poorly. It's going to be desperate for um, great effect. You'll get into that flatbed. Okay. I'll uh, right, so push I'll myself my for an extra first. die. Oh, okay, sure. Do I roll out desperate, or is it just a roll? Um, yeah. Um, you uh, you can either group action off of our friend Juliet. Yeah, and, that's and what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you roll wreck first, Falcos, and let's see if Juliet takes any extra stress. Okay. Four. So success. A success, okay. and so Juliet does not take extra stress, and it, 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 the, the roll is already a success. But let's just see how Juliet does. Did you say um, that it was great effect? That yeah. is correct. Okay, I'm going to bring it down to standard because I'm blown up, which gives me less effect. Okay. Right? Oh, right. Uh-huh, go ahead. I would she assume that it would affect this. Old. It would. <clears throat> um, but you got you got a success, so I'm just going yeah. to roll this. <laughs> which is great that you got a success. It's good, because if one person succeeds, the whole thing succeeds, but Ooh. I'm going to rule that Valkos lands in the flatbed and Juliet is in the street right behind him. Okay. And the Imperial military are firing on all of you. Okay. And here's the final thing. Juliet, you need to get into that flatbed. Valkos and Alden, you need to deal with these bullets that are coming at you from all sides. So it might be as simple as an action that lets you take cover really quickly, or yeah. it might be some kind of reprisal. But um, right now you need to tell me what you're doing. First, let's deal with each of you. Valkos, let's go first. I'm gonna throw a, um, <clears throat> and I don't know whether this is either a demolition tool or an arcane implement or something, but I want to essentially use a flashbang. Oh, um, great! Which, um, which is, I don't know what would I take something off my loadout for that. What would I take? Well, did you have those, or is that just something you uh, were like, you know, it would be cool if I had a flashbang? <laughs> well, arcane implements. A vial of ectoplasm designed to break or splatter an impact. Um, uh, uh, you know what? A, a vial of electroplasm designed to break and splatter on impact would definitely create a senses shattering moment. I'm gonna, there we go. I'm gonna do that and use that and essentially. What do you know? He did have a flashbang. Well, there you go. <laughs> and I'm gonna be doing. Um, finesse again because it's employing um, a subtle misdirection or sleight of hand. I'm throwing it with, with precision. Okay, great. Go for um, it. Would I, what's my position? Your position is risky for mm. standard effect and the standard effect will be that the uh, soldiers all pause in shooting at you okay. if you succeed and if you fail, I think that you will not get shot but it will be harder for Juliet to get into the car. Okay. Five. There you go. That so was risky because you didn't you didn't do the energy. I know. <laughs> I was literally thinking, as soon as I released the button, I was like, nah. success with a consequence. The consequence in this case is that I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to make. I'm going to make Juliet do something to make sure she is not affected by the flashbang effect. Okay. Okay. okay? So. So oh, that's the consequence. Okay. So Juliet, first tell me how you are not blinded. <laughs> um, because I know Valkos, and I saw that look in his eye, and I saw what he was reaching for. I'm well aware of these alchemicals and how they work. And don't you think that in my fine tinkering tools and wrecking tools that I have some little sunglass goggles to pop on? Oh. I don't know. Do you have those? Are they in there anywhere? They're bold. They don't describe those, but they're the bold, like, nice ones part of the leech uh, loadout. They don't yeah. have anything in the descriptions, but they're better than the wrecking tools that everyone has in the basic ones. No. So, so these goggles that you're describing, are they anywhere listed in the leech's equipment? In leeches? Um, Which is what you are, right? Not specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's, what there is is fine tinkering tools and fine wrecking tools is in the equipment. So it's not okay. like defined. Ah, uh, but yes. But don't can't you just hit the little arrow beside fine That's tinkering tools? That's what I'm tools? saying. Oh, they it's don't not have defined. Descriptions. Yeah. Oh, look at that. 
Forgive me for not understanding you. Well, and since it's not described, I think that someone wearing safety glasses when they wreck things makes sense. And so you may go ahead and put <clears throat> on those goggles or ha you maybe you had them on the whole time. But regardless, yeah. don't worry about the flash from the flashbang uh, Valkos is set off. Please now tell me uh, what you do to get on to the hull. Um, well, I think I would like to use my last alchemical slot to drop a smoke bomb to also cover our escape. So the escape. flashbang covered your escape and you're Oops. also going to more cover well, your escape with I a smoke bomb. I thought it just bomb. stopped them for a moment. I assume that once we drive off and they open their eyes that they'll still continue shooting at us. I guess I was just trying to make some smoke. That's okay. Okay, you throw down the smoke bomb and uh, I'm not going to make you roll for that. Uh, okay. A huge cloud of smoke goes up. And then I'll just try to climb in. Okay. Uh, great. Uh, with all of those distractions, I still think I need some sort of action roll from you to get onto the truck. Okay, but skirmish this time. What? How is it skirmish? <laughs> How is it skirmish? <laughs> because I gotta leap onto here and scramble okay, onto so, the uh, let's, bed. I'm gonna read the description of skirmish. Do I need to read the description of skirmish to you? No. Read, read skirmish no. and tell me where it says that it involves leaping. Can, can I? Um, I mean, can I? Yeah. Assist well, somehow like or like do, jump yeah. down and grab her? Yes, you may. Can you give me an action roll? Certainly. Um, I, I will do finesse. But once like, again, see, I gotta catch those hands. So it's clearly skirmish. <laughs> yeah. Is she gonna catch these hands? Uh, welcome to Skirmish in the Dark, where she wants that smoke. every <laughs> single challenge is answered with a skirmish roll. All right. Well, let me just say that we haven't rolled, I haven't rolled them because we've had a no to every one of them, so it really yeah. hasn't been well, utilized. Well, that's because you haven't been fighting anybody hand to hand. Okay, uh, Alden, Here we go. make your um, finesse roll. It is, uh, it is risky. No, actually, it's controlled now. Juliet threw up a whole smoke screen. It's right. controlled for standard effect. You will get her onto the hull. Great. I'm using that Rook's Gambit ability again, paying stress so I can roll more dice. Here we go. And I roll a five. Nice. Five. Success with a consequence. The consequence will simply be that even though you threw up a smoke screen, everybody in the Imperial military that was present clocked exactly what you guys looked like and definitely clocked the structure uh, of the hull. All right. And now I will I will say this. The hull screeches into, into movement, going as fast as Isaac can. He tears around a corner, down an alley, and soon you are away from the battlefield. You have succeeded in removing uh, uh, quite a few of the wards that were covering the command center for the Imperial military down on the docks. And that is why, although your characters do not see this, soon, very soon, a dark shadow descends from the sky. It lands on the hole in the roof of one of the buildings and it climbs down in. And soon from within that building, the sounds of screams are heard. Men being ripped apart. Blood spatters against windows. Another building suddenly has a hole in its side. And we can hear the same things. Men screaming for their lives, running out of it. Among the guns that are firing on the Leviathan Hunters, a, fi a ball of fire is seen moving among it tearing at the people at the guns. The Imperial military flounder. Their attack, their defense dies. And the Leviathan hunters make for a shore landing. And that is where we will leave it for today. Let them fight. Let them fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you can let them fight, but you're going to let the Imperial military lose right now. Yeah, yeah. Guys, Whoa. great game. Thanks for um, putting up with my cantankerousness. <laughs> Juliet, I promise I'll let you roll skirmish no, to, to walk through a door next time. <laughs> this has been Haunted City. 
Josephine McAdam, Abu Salim, Ross Bryant, thank you so much. I'm Jared Logan. Blades in the Dark is by John Harper, and we'll see you next week.